the people who lived in eastern part of Europe, I, I hate to, to call a regime communist, or uh, they call the uh, rotten capitalism <laughs> stuff. Uh, the point was that uh, I was student and at that uh, uh, age, uh, very young, we didn't get any information about uh, what's happening in, uh, in uh, this field. And uh, lucky that uh, uh, USA Embassy in Zagreb, where I grew up, uh, they had a library and I uh, actually joined their library and I had access to all the current magazines in the 60s. So in these magazines, I've heard first time about computer art, computer graphics. I think it was in 1968. I'm not good with years, but uh, the uh, Life magazine uh, had a huge article on computer graphics with illustrations. I was fascinated. The, the animation I started to record in 1975 when I got access to 16 millimeter camera and uh, I shot with that camera the screen of the terminal, the Tektronix 4012 and uh, frame by frame computer was generating images, film camera was uh, shooting and uh, when played it was black and white animation. And that black and white animation I took to a local TV station and there it was very easy to filter colors uh, into black and white footage. So I could build up several layers of different colors and had, uh, uh, it's, it's as you said, abstract animation, abstract uh, motifs. But the, the, the spares move, small thing is uh, changing their shapes and uh, it, it was very interesting experimenting for me and each step which I developed actually triggered the question, oh, what if I change this and I change this, you change parameters and you get another version and something new and that, that's how it started and then uh, 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 went on endlessly. I should uh, point out something so unique. I don't think anyone has ever done it. My animation I did uh, on the uh, paper by Plotter ended up as the hundreds of ceramic tiles in the town hall on the walls. Even today, there is a hall in, in an uh, old town hall in Zagreb, where all four walls are tiled with ceramic tiles. Each tile has a frame from building up a drawing. That was amazing because it didn't move, but it's a, a, a huge set of frames from uh, one, one drawing which actually I couldn't draw that many hundreds of, uh, uh, of uh, drawings by Plotter uh, to create it. So what I was doing with a guy who was ceramic artist, Hannibal Sar Salvaro, his big name in ceramics, and uh, I pulled every time Plotter was, uh, drew one ellipse, I pulled the drawing out, we took a photo, we put the paper back, we added another ellipse, pulled the back, and hundreds of times we had on uh, photographic film all the frames. And these frames were then uh, printed on the tiles. So I thought, uh, I've never heard that anyone has done animation on ceramic tiles. I thought that might be a funny thing, but true. <laughs> Uh, 
regarding uh, crypto art, I'm 100% clear. Uh, I don't accept uh, the, the, the thinking that uh, cryptocurrency defines art. No. Whoever does something nice, exciting, uh, not only beautiful, but you can, you can uh, enjoy seeing into it what was created, that content. Content can end up on a paper on the wall, print in a book, or some uh, uh, crypto art uh, lodged in a who knows where, that it belongs to who knows where. So the content is what, what I look in those algorithmic generative uh, art that, that we see uh, today in, in our time. And uh, uh, the AI is, uh, I think, I think uh, the media uh, likes sensationalism. Whatever is sensation, they would pump up. But we had technological uh, developments which, which uh, everyone thought, oh, that will destroy the previous way of uh, uh, creating art. When, when photography uh, 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 tried to find the, the, the place in the art world, oh no, you cannot do that, uh, that will destroy portraits, that will destroy uh, oil painting. No, it's, it's different. And each art form has its own space then and today. So AI is a new tool, nothing else. When computers uh, were developed, Oh, that's not uh, art, that's uh, spirographing, that's I don't know what. No, that's art form which has its uh, uh, place among other art forms, particularly when you say today. So AI is a tool which now it's uh, uh, starting much faster than in the past several years because we had a AI before, it's not a one-year-old thing. And now it's being pumped up as dangerous for society, dangerous for civilization, uh, dangerous for art. No, this is tool, it will show what it can do. That's the category, in that category, they do fantastic things. I know there are so many problems with uh, copyright. Oh, it's taking bits and pieces and put together. Is it new or what about the guys who actually uh, had stolen part of their intellectual property? I cannot judge them. That will, that will come up in, in future, how that should be treated. I just see new tool is on horizon. Youngsters are using it more than we uh, older generation. And what I have seen, uh, I still cannot say everything so beautiful that I've seen from AI, but I've seen stuff generated by AI. It's fascinating. And I, uh, I'm sure that it will have its space among other art forms from today in future. Look, I, I'm uh, fascinated on uh, uh, X, uh, uh, which is X Twitter. So I follow a few guys and what they're doing with code, it's absolutely magnificent. And I, I really, uh, uh, every uh, now and then I, I make time just to check what else they have done, what's the latest. And that's, that's so uh, intriguing, so good. And um, unfortunately, uh, I'm a guy from the last century. I must admit, I don't know anything about uh, uh, cryptocurrency and how that works. And they all just coin this, coin that. Tomorrow, uh, uh, at that time, everything's moving around, around that uh, new way of distribution, I would say. Uh, I don't miss that because uh, my intention is not... Uh, uh, to distribute my work as much as, as I can, 
my my uh, uh, concept uh, is now at the end of my career I, I can say is to present what was unique when nobody else was doing it 